Hey guys, EST here with a less than serious gear review. I saw this at the dollar store. I think it was a dollar, which is shocking. Uh, might have been a dollar ninety nine. It was one of those dollar stores where not everything's a dollar, but I remember it was like astonishingly cheap. Um, so you get this beautiful flashlight and three triple A's, and I thought, wait a minute. Anytime I see three triple A's and this size, I know what that is. So um, check this out. Oh wow, this is this is some fine quality plastic hair. Okay. Oh, as I suspected, it's one of these. So if you haven't seen one of these, it's basically what you put in if you're not that into 18650 cells. Luckily, I am that into 18650 cells. In fact, those are the strongest cells in the entire world, the current record holder. Those are Sony Mirata 18650s. They do uh, 33 amps continuous output and have 3,300 milliamps of capacity. And unlike anything else that claims to be above 3,000, these aren't lying. In fact, I tested them. So these are actual genuine Sony Miratas I got from an importer. Very hard to find, very hard to get very heavy these weigh about double what my cheapy ones do so these are insane i mean you you put three of these in in uh series you're running a 12 volt inverter with like what 120 watts capability something in that neighborhood so i thought okay these usually go in the place of these they're a little bit longer but let's see if we can fit it and this is going to be terribly funny if it does by the way oh my gosh i mean you can't feel the cheapness through the screen but hopefully you can hear it yeah you, you hear that that's the really cheap type of plastic i mean that is like i could probably if i squeeze this hard enough break it this is a metal rim it's not watertight so you don't have any uh, rubber seal here so but for a dollar and i thought okay screw these triple a's screw this let's put a sony mirada battery in it so there's a little bit of a little bit of left right there um i think what i need is an adapter let me see if i have one real quick Okay, perhaps I should rephrase that. I do have one, I just don't know where it is. I actually found another one of these, believe it or not. That one's a little bit taller. It's got the spring-loaded uh, tip there. Kind of nice. Came with a little bit nicer flashlight, actually. But let's just see if this works. I don't think this will actually close, though. I mean, I can put about that much pressure on it, but that is definitely shorter. So, let's see. Oh! Now, you might know these are 1.5 volts, and they're in series in here. That's why they alternate. So that would be 4.5 volts, and these are 4.2 volts. So... Should be no problem. I think these uh, flatten out at one volt a piece, so it can run down to three. So 4.2 is right in the middle. So let's see if I make this burst into flames. Oh, come on. Did I screw up the polarity? Well, let's see if it works with the triple A's. I suppose I should try that. Oh, whoa, holy crap. This is actually really bright. You probably saw my iris absolutely freak on this camera. Wow, I mean, this is nowhere near my nice flashlight, but uh, this ain't bad. That's that's actually a lot brighter than I thought. I mean, I wouldn't want to, like, clear a room with this, but this I have worse flashlights than this, let's put it that way. Wow, it's very blue, but it's not, like, really ugly UV purple. So, apparently I just had the polarity mixed up. So, let's try the Mirada again. This should be entertaining. There we go. Negative side up for some reason. All right. <laughs> I am worried because uh, I think it's half an amp a piece on these, and this can do 33 amps. So if there's no limiter, we're about to light this thing on fire. Here we go. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, Panasonic CGRs. Almost as nice. Here we go. So it's positive side down, apparently. Now what is going on? Does this just not work at 4.2 volts? That's really strange. Well, you know I'm not going to leave it at that. Okay, so I believe that's positive. This is negative. Let's have some fun. Okay, I figured out what's going wrong here. I'm lucky I didn't damage my cells, hopefully. They didn't feel warm. But uh, this is, I believe, positive polarity down there. It runs up from the spring to this rim. This rim touches that, and then this is the opposite polarity. So... If I stick my battery in, it touches both. I've got an idea. Okay, I never said good idea, I just said idea. Feel free to rewind the video. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is gonna be so hard to do this without it touching. Oh my gosh. Okay, that that is that is going to touch. All right. 
Let's see what we get. Oh, this is a bad idea. Oh, I had a 50-50 on that polarity. And I believe I have 50-50'd incorrectly. All right, we have reversed the polarity. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's some light output. Oh, that is really damn bright. Okay, that is, I would say, a good 50% brighter than with the, uh, the A batteries there. Um, I could hold this for a while and see if it lights on fire. That, that, that would be a, that'd be a good thing to do. Oh, let's see. I think I might actually be able to... Oh, I can actually, like, solder this. I oh, want that be something. Okay, I can leave it in the... I can leave it in the hole. There we go. Don't want to touch the board. There we go. Look at that. All right, so still overall not a fantastic light. I mean, it's not bad, but um, let's see if I can get a comparison going here. Oh, okay, that is that is burning. That is definitely burning on the inside. <laughs> oh, f hell, that's hot. Okay, yep, yep, I touched the coil. It is hot. Okay, this does not have a current limiter, so <laughs> apparently you're not supposed to put upwards of... 33 amps through it when it's expecting one and a half or whatever this is so hooking it up to an 18650 that is a fail i mean that thing was on for a good what 30 seconds and uh i don't trust it now <laughs> not that i trusted it in the first place oh my gosh let's see is this cooled off oh it's still pretty warm that's that's a good roasty toasty girl right there okay all right let's see if it still works <laughs> Hey, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, cheap flashlight. Let me just compare this to an absolute beast of a flashlight I got, which still, by the way, was only about nine bucks. All right, wow, I had an ultra fire in here. Yeah, no, mm -mm. Here we go. <laughs> All right, this is the uh, cheapy one you always see on, like, uh, you know, AliExpress, eBay, Amazon, all that, but it's nice. I've had this thing for like three or four years. It's like really nice, no joke. Like it's the telescoping one, so you can get uh, bigger and smaller. It's never broken. I mean, it gets really hot if you leave it on for about uh, 30 minutes. Like I did, touched it, burnt my fingers, but yeah, it still works very tough little light. I mean, I, I've dropped it a couple times. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. So uh, let's compare the beams. Which now that I look at it, wow, this is actually, this is actually surprising. So... All right, I mean, I don't know if the camera's really picking that up. Looks like actually it's having some trouble, but uh, getting them to the similar size, similar spray, I mean, this is so much of a better lens. Kind of hard to compare them, but... And this one has a brighter spot, and this one has just, like, better spread. So, for a dollar, I'm impressed, but, I mean, I would just buy this and then get a really good 18650. Yeah, I know that, for, personally, in the dark, if I were to spread this all the way out, this thing would just absolutely flood compared to this one. I mean, right now, this is barely brighter. And if I get, like, closer, I mean, it's it's absurd how much brighter this is. So, this is capable of running at a higher uh, amp amount. And it's, it's actually, I should show you guys, it's, um, here we go, one single LED. I think it's a three-watt Cree LED. But they might be lying about the specs, who knows. But uh, this this big glass bubble lens is actually pretty cool. It's pretty nice. And uh, it's got the glass breaker tips on it. It's just nice. Very, very, very nice. I like this one. I'd recommend it to anybody. I mean, I've seen flashlights that are better. Like, that cost like 80 bucks. But uh, it's not a high priority. I'd rather get, like, eight water filters. Just saying. So, okay. That is um, how you almost light a cheap dollar flashlight on fire with EST. <laughs> so... High quality gear, like I've always said, but this was a fun video, so thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you next time.